Ladies and gents, we finally have a tactic for you if you're looking at the lower leagues. Let's take a look. At least I assume this is for the lower leagues. This has a Sheffield FC logo on it, on the picture. This is called the Escapism Deluxe. And the only description that's in it on the Steam Workshop says pressing and free flowing 424 that emphasizes being on the front foot to overwhelm the opponents. This tactic was based on RDF's Julian Nagelsmith's 4231 from uh, FM22. In the lower levels, it is advised to, cha advised to change the complete forwards to advanced forwards and deep lying forwards. So they've tried it out with uh, the lower leagues as well as probably some upper leagues, uh, and it seems to have worked for them. We don't see any screenshots or anything like that, but this is the tactic itself. It is a, a sweeper keeper in attack. You can see it is a 424, two fullbacks on support, a central defender on defend, a non a no nonsense center back in defend, a deep lying playmaker in defend in the midfield, Mazala in support, two wingers both on attack, a complete forward and a complete forward or one in attack, one in support. But again, it does say in the lower leagues, change those complete forwards to advanced forwards, uh, to an advanced forward and a deep lying forward. So change that to an advanced forward, change this to a deep lying forward, and you've got your lower league tactic right there. It is a custom gag and press, positive mentality, in possession, a, attacking with is fairly wide, approach a play is fast into space, overlap the left and right, focus play on the left and right and play out of defense, passing directness is shorter, tempo is slightly higher, mixed crosses and run at defense. In transition, counter press, counter, distribute quickly, distribute to the center backs and then take short kicks. And then out of possession, a high press line of engagement, a much def higher defensive line, Trigger press much more often and prevent short goalkeeper distribution. But now how did it do with our three teams? Eh, not great. Um, you can see Newcastle does come in Conference League spot at 7th. Tottenham in ninth was not great, especially at 54 points. Wolves just avoiding relegation by two whopping points. Uh, so definitely did not work, work for them. Newcastle in Conference League is not too bad. I think you could get there anyway without this tactic. There are probably better 424 tactics. But again, that's what the sim does. It screws with everything, uh, and this is what you end up with. Newcastle's schedule actually does look pretty nice. Liverpool 1 2 right off the bat, but then a sea of green and a couple of draws there. Thought you got Aston Villa loss, you got a Tottenham loss, uh, but not by much. Only 2 3, 6 4 against Manchester City. A fantastic away win right there. You move it on in the EFL Cup third round. You move on in the fourth round against Tottenham. Uh, if, wow, you keep going, don't you? Up until the fifth round where you lose out to Tottenham, two to six. Was that? Oh, that must be the EFL Cup. There you go. Uh, but EFL Cup final, you do lose out to Liverpool. The absolute killer in most of these tactic talks. But nil two at Wembley. You got to a final. That is a fantastic effort right there. Second half of the season. I mean, look at this January, though. Minus that 1-2 loss to Leicester. Fantastic. And then just completely spotty from there on out. Arsenal, 2-5. to five. Tottenham starting off a bit spottier. Nil 5 to Manchester City. 3-5 to Leicester. Wow, Leicester's crushing it. Uh, but a couple wins, a couple losses. There you go. Champions League not doing very well. Uh, well, you got a couple right there. You see, you're just losing out to Real Madrid, of course. Real Madrid again. You should have moved on. Yep, there you go. You do beat PSG at home. You lose by a far margin, 1-5 to five to PSG away from home. Second half of the season does look a lot better. You do lose out there. You go to that Newcastle 2-4 to four loss in the EFL Cup. Fourth round, FA Cup, you continue on. FA Cup quarters, FA Cup semis. And then you lose out to Arsenal. Nil one, FA Cup final, an all London final, and a not very good one for Tottenham. And then Wolves, yeah, you got a couple of greens here and there. Uh, you move on in this EFL Cup, but wow. I mean, I guess October was good. November was kind of good. You do lose out to Fulham in the 2-4 in the EFL Cup third round. FA Cup, you move on up until this Bournemouth match, 1-2. to two. And then, I mean, two losses, two draws, two wins in April, and then a just miserable May. Three games by one goal. That's not too bad, and hopefully you can overcome at least one of them. Transfer-wise, you've got pretty much the same as always. You do have Milan, uh, Milan Skriniar from Inter, 32 and a half. Uh, Joseph Schutala we've seen before. And really, I mean, no one gets rid of any players now. They're all loans or they're all these low fees. 
So Tottenham, Marius Wolf from Borussia Dortmund for eight and a half. Andre Silva from Leipzig for 18.25. Tony Weston, we've seen. Matthias Zirocco from ATM, 13.25. I'm not sure what ATM is. It's in the Brazilian league, right? Atletico Mineiro or something like that. Um, and then Marshall Ruddy from Toronto FC for six. But again, not getting rid of anyone, just all loans or Tananga uh, to Borussia Dortmund we've seen before. Well, Wolves did spend a little bit. Ricardo Escayo from Sporting for 3.2. Bruno Varela from Vitoria de Gumarais, 3.1. And then, yeah, 16.25 actually for Jose Sa. Not too bad for Porto, but I think we have seen that before. As usual, pause where you want to see it. 7.25 for Fabian Schar. Not too bad. Uh, you do have a lot more green so uh, for, for Newcastle. 7.29 for Miguel Almarone. 763 for Isaac. Fantastic. Tottenham, not nearly as many green. However, 734 for Sun, 725 for Kane. Not too bad. And then Wolves. 716, 716, Jimenez and Triori. Not too bad, actually. Most goals, Newcastle and Tottenham, 76 and 69 apiece. Uh, not too bad there, especially Tottenham finding themselves a little bit lower in the table. Nobody for fewer shots. Uh, most possession, though, Tottenham is there. Dribbles, Newcastle. Few is conceded. Nobody, no shutouts. To Tottenham in eighth with 11. Most tackles when you do have Tottenham and Wolves, so you have a little bit of defensive work. Wolves, though. Ouch. 793. Uh, best pass passing is not a thing for these teams and for this tactic. Newcastle and Tottenham for most shots. And then most points, you got Newcastle in there. Holland, of course, with 40. But Kane comes in with 24 goals. Wilson with 21. Isaac with 20 as a son. Most assists, you got Trippier leading the charts with 14, Isaac with Newcastle in 11th, or with 11, and St. Maximum with 11 as well. Most player of the match awards, Isaac Triori and Kane, all with seven apiece, uh, but passing nothing. Dribbles made St. Maximum and Triori. Bruno Varela with Wolves, fewest conceded, 31. Most shutouts, Hugo Lloris, Nick Pope both make the list, 11 and 10 apiece. Most tackles, nobody. Key passes, Trippier as usual. No Semedo, no Sarabia. Uh, but Isaac and Wilson, all with most shots. Uh, Harry Kane up there as well. Newcastle, Callum Wilson and Alexander Isaac, 29 goals apiece in all competitions. That is an amazing result. Fantastic for individually, either of them, but together, 29. Wow. Alexander Isaac was 7-6-3, though. Uh, St. Maximum with 16 assists and most player of the match awards, Isaac with 11. A fantastic result for Newcastle right there. Harry Kane with 30 goals for Tottenham. A really good result there. High, you know, kind of on the high end of average for him. Actually, no, I would say that's probably higher than average. Sun with 734, fantastic. Assist, Kulisevsky with 12. And the most player of the match was eight. And even eight's probably higher than average for, for this team. And then we hit Wolves. I mean, Jimenez with 22 goals is actually a fantastic result. Triori with 716 is probably bang on average. Not for Triori, but for this team. Uh, most assist Triori with 11. He really came out this season. And then most player of the match awards, eight for Triori. He did a fantastic job with this team. Overall, though, this tactic did not work for Wolves whatsoever. I mean, they could have brought up some of these draws. I mean, only six draws, though, still. Uh, but Tottenham, oh, probably average, if not a little bit lower than average, at 54 points. Newcastle was 65, probably about average. Uh, I there Again, there are definitely other 424s that have done much better jobs. Uh, and then... We got this one. But anyway, that's it for me. Savvy and FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.